Um. Unit destroyed. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Gracian and welcome to episode 13 of this Let's Play of Age of Wonders Planetfall. We are on Komen's Retreat as Gertie Badger. We're in the middle of a combat where we're trying to defend a sector that was hit with two groups of marauders. So we went in with a couple units missing and some damage already. So we're at a little bit of a disadvantage here. They do out power us by a little bit actually but we have the advantage of operations and being generally smarter than the AI at least I hope so let's run in here let's get some damage here I think it's pretty good I might even run up and saw blade that one no it's not gonna kill it let me get to like here If I go to here, I think that's worth it. Finish that unit off all the way. Now we've got the disassembler over here. Get a nice big AoE that hits. Uh, honestly, this is probably the better choice here. This one does less damage and doesn't stagger and also has a smaller chance to hit. This is the, probably the sweet spot right here. I want to blow up this cover. Because um, that way I can just zip on in there and start punching. Okay, get him. Bam. Okay, nice. So we got some stagger. We got a little bit of disassembler particles in here. Will hurt my own units because I'm dumb. I forgot about that. Um, can I get the AOE off? Not really, unfortunately. We only have one turn of this. So let's go to here. Nope. Let's go to here. Okay, we got a graze. That's all right. We can go to here. And then what's wrong with me? Catatonic? No! Okay, uh, we'll undo that. And then we will do what exactly? I literally don't know. This one's going to fire that stupid AoE. Wait, does this one not have the AoE? I thought this one had a big old AoE. What am I thinking of? Oh, I'm thinking of the Remora. The the purple, the other purple thing. The purple thing that comes from um, this, this, I don't know, this is, this one turns into, what does this one turn into? A liquid tick. Yeah, that one turns into this one. I'm thinking of the little guys that turn to the Remoras. I don't remember what they look like. Okay, so it doesn't have an AoE. So let's, um... Ah, oh, jeez, I don't know. I don't know now. I don't know. I'm gonna run back over here. Stand behind these boxes. Should I drop an op on them? Get an arc discharge? That would kill this one. Yeah, let's just do it. Enemy Bam. Killed. Another stagger, so this one can't really do much now. We're gonna have another arc manifold bolt. It's gonna hit something. Well, that wasn't unexpected. It healed itself, though. That kind of sucks. That one had to back out of that. Oh, good. Only four damage. Nice. Bam! Okay, bolts of lightning are raining down from the sky, both good and bad. Fire! Oh, that was 5% chance to miss completely. Oh, my God. Two cra okay, I rolled a zero... An 11 and a 22. Three shots, one miss, and two grazes with a 70% chance to hit. Oh my god. <laughs> not good. Not good. Can I re- No, I already used the resurrection thing. Uh, well, we gotta take this thing out. So let's just go over here. We got two punches here. Or one big punch. It's obviously two punches. Punch. Punch. God, that's satisfying. It's so crunchy. The way it does that. And saw blades. Enemy killed. It's a cool unit. Um. Unit destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do it? Okay, that's it. I'm leaving. I can't believe I just did that. I just walked around. Right the... I gotta take a break. All right, we'll just end turn. <laughs> I can't believe. Why would you did that damn thing have? I thought it had more. Okay. Let's 
Got my big bomb back here. Let's, uh, here we go. Boop. The assembly march there we go. Doesn't matter. It's a militia. So you gotta remember that we used up three of our tactical operation points. Oh my god, there's so many marauders. Please. Please. This is what I watch every turn. I turn, I turn, I, un I pause the recording and I watch the marauders. And I know that some of you think that's ridiculous, but there's so many goddamn marauders on this planet. I have to see where they're headed and what they're doing because I need to defend myself. I don't want to have to look around. Like, it's easier to just watch them than it is to reanalyze every time where they are. Um, so, orders required. Ah, that's it. Hey, excuse me? Where are you going? Now, this army is actually pee big. This army is kind of not good. So, what we have here is a little conundrum, don't we? But we can do it, I think, if we... Uh, multiple pup buggies. Let's collect their samples. So they're down to 10.49. Auto combat? Yeah, I didn't think I was going to get away with that. Now they have three units that are going to take some extra arc damage. So with the... Ah! The vent's over. Okay. Arc resistance. Never mind. What about you? Arc weakness. Why is this one? Oh, it's a cyborg. It's, I always forget that these aren't mechanical. If you're familiar with my channel, you know I complain about that all the time. I, I'll spare you this time. Uh, boy. Well, I want to get the fart up here in position. The fart too, my bad. Uh, Golem? This guy's got a missile. He can bomb me if I, if I... Let me put the Golem, like, over here. Look at this weird Snuffleupagus root thing here. This thing looks like it's come to life. Father Bill is also pretty strong. I might have him over here, and he can, like, run around the flank. And we'll just kind of slap these guys back here. I know they're itching for a missile here, but I, there's not a lot I can do. I mean, somebody's going to get missiled. How, oh, God. That was a lot. That was a lot of stuff that just happened. I'm in danger. Stunned? Operations available. Well, this guy is blinded, charred, and burning. And static charge. Oh my god, can I even purge this guy? No, I can't. Damage boost of 25%. Um, okay, this... Non-mindless. What the hell am I supposed to... Arc retaliation defense, too. Okay, energy drain is good. Arc retaliation defense and stagger. It doesn't even. I could shotgun it. This is not good. This is not good. Um, it's terrible. 25% chance to hit. But what am I just, I mean, 
Might be the best I'm gonna get. Oh, I can also heal. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna heal myself up with that. Try to wait out some of these debuffs. So I can't purge them. Same here. That one's stunned. So we really need to finish this one off if we can. We could scratch him out. It's 15% chance to hit. Long range. Okay. Well, if I get real close, I can scratch him. Okay, but uh, of course, uh, I stunned myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Uh, I'm going to pop on an arc manifold. This is going to be a long one. This unit, again. This is from three range, so if I'm up here and I fire, I can get the bleeding because this is a cyborg. Okay, that's helpful actually. Now it's going to take some damage and also is weak to kinetic, which we have a lot of. Well, Father Bill is stunned too. Unit lost. Okay, unit, unit down. More debuffs over here. This one does a one hex AOE, but it doesn't need to have multiple charges of this. We could. Enemy eliminated. All right, um, I'll take it. We got one point of armor down. What's the shotgun damage look like? 15. I can also try to slash him and I'd heal up four. Um, but I'd do three less damage. It's 15 would take him down to four. So I got a shotgun if I want to die from bleed. Um, so it's going to die from bleed. But unless, well, maybe I want to kill him off, though. Take the retaliation, but then he doesn't get any action points. He's got three still right now. Enemy destroyed. And stun myself, which is good. Is there anything else I can do here that would be helpful? Remote system purge. I could undo the stun. That doesn't really matter here. Embrace darkness. It does have a stagger. Broken mind. Could be helpful. What else do we have? The Gift of Oblivion. How do I have all these points left? I thought I... Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't have three left. I had five left. I... I yeah, I, I misunderstood how many points I had. Infuse a mechanical or cyborg unit. Um, That's... The right kind of unit for that. Race of Darkness. I might. This one's got the better chance to actually be imposed with a negative. I might slap that one. This one's hurt. Nope. Unit lost. Good God. Hmm. Not the smartest move. 
So I can do this, like right here. Really just obliterate everything. Enemy annihilated. Okay, there we go. So now we've got... 60% on this one. I might leave him back here. He's super nice and safe tucked away in there. Enemy terminated. Cool, that was good. That was good. Our forces are victorious. Okay, a little bit of a toughie. We're losing scavenger units sort of all over the world right now. Which is okay, because they're kind of replaceable. They were pretty cheap. They've got like one mod. They're not even really that efficient, to be honest, since they've got the bleed on their shotgun, but not on their claws. But we're getting stuff done. Getting quests done. We're getting some Imperial Renown. So now we just need to build back up with better units. So fortunately, our military city is mostly online and is now actually churning out decent units. So we can start making armies of those, go get some more stuff done. Dark Lament is done. Now that's where we can start putting that that cool building into some of our city sectors here. But what we need to do though is just pop a few people into energy in different places because I am a little behind on this. So let me pause and shuffle some citizens around. All right, I've shuffled some people around. I'm making, you know, over a hundred more than I was per turn. Now each of these spires of suffering that I want to build Sorry, wrong tab. Costs 200 energy, so with, with less than 500, I'm not going to queue any of them up yet. I'm going to wait until a city actually doesn't have anything to work on, and then I'll queue those up. I don't want to dip too too much lower than this, because I, I need that money for operations in combat. Operations out of combat as well, actually. So we're, I'm going to wait on that one. Um, and we also have our new city set up up here. And this is Kazenoid. That city sucks. Uh, the name sucks, so we're going to call this something else. Now, who we have up here? We have Kirko up here, so we're going to call this the um, we're going to call this the Bug Zapper because this city is the first line of defense against any of these bugs flying on down here. Uh, I have them taking food from the pool, and their job is to damn it, they grab that cosmite by this one little nodule there. That's okay. We're going to fight them later on. We do have influence is there anything i want to buy to shore up my armies because i am a little bit behind right now on military spacers are probably my best bet because they've got some kinetic well not much actually actually don't really do much kinetic now that i think about it. they got these dumb trucks with the makeshift turret what about the forgotten i mean they've got all this entropy stuff they don't really do anything else just entropy which i don't have mods for although i can mod them up with um some number of stuff probably that's possible shattered arc is interesting i don't know if there's a way to mod this up in a way that could be helpful for me um i might buy one let's buy one shattered arc and let's take a look what can we give you oh god Eight damage. If I unequip that, it's eight damage. It's still eight damage no matter what. Uh, let's give it a mark of the dark sun. Mod it up. Power hungry? Sure. And then let's send it off to do something. Probably over here, Father Bill. Not the best unit, but. Or at least mod wise. But I wanted to try. Doomsday victory, yep. Empire Task Carpenter, Operation Center, Infiltration is ready. Let's take a look at Tick. 55% chance, so that's not going to work. That's not a good no, it's not a good enough chance. Here we're working on the Energy Siphon. That's right, Casting Energy Siphon will actually give me Imperial Renown. So once we have that, we'll have to start using our influence on that, which will be pretty cool, actually. Orders required, so we've got one of these invisible scouts here we had one over here as well i just kind of get up onto the mountain maybe here for now and just kind of take a peek at what she's up to these guys we're gonna go in and fight here but i've used up all my operation points and i also need to repro redo sample collection so i can't actually go in and do this this turn so I'll just wait here for a moment there is marauders coming in 
they're not nearly strong enough, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, so let's just pause there for a moment. You had that unfortunate battle with the stupid submarines and probably can't handle any more fights like that. So let's just get you back onto land. Opal Dome's building militia, and then we'll have a better defense force here, and then we can start looking into building some of our weird submarines. What do we actually make here? Oh, yeah, we're not... Uh, we have Shakarn here. That's right. Now, Shakarn... We have an interesting relationship with Shakarn right now because we have one of them where we're an ally with and... and uh, oh, no, there isn't another Shakarn. That's right. I keep thinking there's another Shakarn player on this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so Shakarn we're actually okay with. Um, 350. So, yeah, building their units is totally fine. We're Production not going to get in ready. trouble. Starting to get a pretty decent army. It's already looking pretty strong. So you guys just wait there. Set military research. Supercharge, restoring all of its action points. It's pretty useful. So we get disassemblers. They have kinetic, so I mean they there are some applications with some of these kinetic things. Explosive rounds, fire burst, that's pretty interesting. Let's grab this one and then this one. And then we might even look at grabbing that submarine. Again, we make terrible science, but we get like, <laughs> like 150 a turn just from marauders crashing into our sectors. Bug Zapper probably needs militia immediately. And end turn. All right, some marauders crashing into my sectors. Roaming around, oh my God. So you never know when they're gonna attack. Sometimes they just run around in circles around your city. Uh, and I don't, okay, nope. <laughs> okay, H&R Block has produced uh, one of the snipers. So we've got some other cool stuff going on. Actually, do we have, we have rail accelerators. Is that worth a is that worth a, a mod? Actually, I mean, with assembly, they mod in, immediately, so I could add rail accelerators to the Vorpal Sniper. Now, let me wait until I get this um, this one that lets them go through terrain and stuff. Uh, that'll make these guys really strong, because then they they don't they can hit like whatever I want them to with a pretty good accuracy. Espionage. Let's queue Operations one of those up. Primed and ready. Energy siphon. Start priming. Uh, it's not ready yet. Sad. Confirm movement. Head on over to Father Bill. Uh, this ugh, here comes some apostates. We can't quite get there, so let's just take these ones up here. I'm not willing to lose another sector to these stupid apostates. Okay, so you are headed up to see what this person's up to. Oh, I'm actually in their sector. No, they lost the sector to Marauders, it looks like. What happened? Well, that's interesting. Who killed this sector? Oh, it was these guys. Because they're a little wounded. That's interesting. That's good for me. I want this Cosmite. I don't want them having this Cosmite. I'll camp out on this spot so they can't grab it back. Do I need to be concerned about this, actually? Are they going to come and kill my city if I don't buy out this militia? Maybe I should just do that. 480. Well, it's better than what it was. Happiness event in colony. Production, awesome. Happiness event in colony. Food, also good. H&R block needs to take this. So we got to take this thing out here. Mm -hmm. So let's head on in to here and drop a sample collection on them. They are mostly robots. All robots? Yeah, so the, the morale one wasn't going to work. So let's queue that one back up. But I want the energy siphon first, actually, because I want to start getting that Imperial Renown. Um, so let's go ahead on in here. We'll try the auto. We'll see what happens. Okay, a little bit unexpected. I'll take it. Getting some more money out of them. That's awesome. So now we can actually grab this sector next turn, which is fantastic. Here's some Cosmite. So we might, you know, wait around here and then take that out as well. So we can start getting that Cosmite right away. Unfortunately... We won't have an operation to use on them unless we tell this one to prime first. So maybe I will have this one be ready next turn. 
so I can go right in and get that. Um, this one, do I want to go in a little further and see what they're up to? Not too far. I don't want them to be able to actually kill my scout. Opal Dome is having a happiness problem until we get this. Oh yeah, now we can grab this one. Boop. Uh, yeah, I don't give a shit. And then let's send somebody out to, to clear this out. So we might need like... One more scout or something. One of these I I planted things. And Opal Sniper. Okay, yeah, we're getting there. Okay, let's end turn. Sample collections ready. Message from the Spacers faction. Fire on the water. No. <laughs> I can't do this. Lucky landing. No. No, I don't want to. Um, God. All right, I've got, uh, I don't have my scout built yet. Now, these apostates did not come in for the attack. So let's leave this unit here for defense just in case. You just wait there for a moment. I don't, I don't want to attack them. I want them to attack me. I'm still weaker than them with this army. This group here, sh shit. Here comes Tix armies. Uh, okay, okay. We have to mobilize, let's go. What's this thing for? Who is this for? I own this, but I never grabbed it. What is this? Is this supposed to be for... It's the one that gives the nutrition center. Non-mechanical gets plus five maximum HP. Is that what I want? Or do I want the science for the plus one level? It's a gold side. It would make the chaos forge as well. So yeah, I probably want this. So who's this for? Is this for Calvin? Two residential... I guess it could be until I settle up there. It's food though. I already have two food, with Calvin. Stop it. Um, two food. So this one doesn't really have a home until I like. I could. I could. I could grab it with Bug Zapper actually. Once Bug Zapper gets this, I could just grab this into there. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, we. Uh, we. Who else do we have around here that can that can come in and help? I should probably build. Like. A couple of spare troops, maybe, out of Calvin. Non-mechanical units get plus five HP. I could just build like some scavengers. Um, although I've made this mistake before, is build a bunch of tier one units that don't have mods and then I lose. So, hmm. Or do I just let the units pop out of here and use these cities for other things like, like producing this would I could make more Cosmite out of this. This colony produces a random hero mod or weapon whenever a military research is complete. Let's actually get that. That sounds kind of fun. Um, so we do have... So these have universal camouflage, but I can see them because of this detector, which I didn't think was that long of a range. How long is the detector range on the vision? Okay, I got a lot of units, actually. So what do they have coming? They've got Frenzied with a buttload of mods. So they're dangerous. Novices, though. They've got this Fire Extinguisher hidden with, again, a buttload of kind of defensive mods, which is odd. What's this thing? Forgotten Essence Siphon. Uh, we have more Frenzied. Okay, this, okay. Uh, Serpian and a couple of these. Oh, these are their scouts. So these are not scary armies at all. There's just kind of a lot of them. It's like a medium amount of them. Um, now this city can't obviously defend against that, so we absolutely have to get some units up here ASAP to defend. So we might need to actually pull these units up, but I got these dumb apostates here. So where are my other forces? Who else is around? This group here. Really don't have a lot of forces, do I? So I've got Gertie Badger's armies on route. These guys are defending Opal Dome. These guys are defending Electric Eel. These ones are questing, and these ones are defending against Apostate. So yes, I need more units. Look, the world's almost explored for my auto-explore scouts. That's pretty cool. Should I go after these guys? 
840 power. Good lord. That's pretty strong, actually. Maybe I'll just wait here. Production Central ready. Replicator Factory. How far can they get? They can get to there. And then I can get to... There's one turn. Two turns. So it's going to take me two... So they're going to beat me there. Is there anything I can do about this? I could buy like a unit with influence, which is just doesn't seem like it's gonna be enough. So I think I'll save it. Happiness of Vanton Colony. Let's work on this and then we could buy it out next turn. We don't need to yet. It'll cost a lot less money next turn. So we'll wait, we'll wait. Zana has not much here. I do want to do this. Um, we are all out of time, so I'll probably drop an operation on these guys next episode, and then we'll go in and beat these guys up. This guy is pretty strong. He's got all these mods. Yeah, he's a hell of a lot stronger, actually. This guy's got a 14 damage AoE. This guy's got a 20 damage AoE. He's got stunned. Mark of the Dark Sun. This, this annoying mod for me. Uh, yeah, that's an interesting group right there. Okay, so let's call this episode here. This has been a very fun episode, very fun playthrough so far. I cannot believe the quantity of marauders on this planet. It's insane. It's just insane how many m units are roaming around trying to murder me. But now we actually have forces from Tick actually coming in here. Now, I don't know if Tick is coming down here because they wanted to defend this location because they lost it to marauders or if they're actually on the offensive against me. Um, if they're on the offensive against me and this is all they have, I'm not super worried, but I don't know what else, you know, they have up here. They, they're they not huge as an empire, um, but the AI is good at making absurd numbers of units, so we'll see what happens. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you're appreciating, let me restart that. I hope you're enjoying this series. I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. There we go. So thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.